Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and um, just covering a couple more of my citrus before I put them into the summer house. Um, it's a very slow process because uh, the weather and the light is causing me uh, issues in terms of when I've got time to do this. I don't want to be working in the pouring rain and keep going into the uh, out and walk, traipsing through all the mud. Um, so anyway, what we're looking at here is a name variety, very sickly looking plant, a star ruby that I've had for several years and it pretty much died and I bare root potted it and it came back to life quite well and then it got sickly again and then it perked up and now it's got sickly again. It really is a battle sometimes with these citrus to keep them healthy and I'm quite surprised to be honest this year. I haven't done anything but treated them. Um, but I've actually had leaf miners on my citrus which are outdoors all summer and I'm quite surprised because I didn't think that leaf miners were um, a, an issue for citrus here. I know they are, they get them badly in America but it's the first time I've ever experienced leaf miners on my citrus. It doesn't cause major issues with them normally unless the plant gets them really badly perhaps our climate isn't suitable for the leaf miners but it does cause as you can see curling and deterioration of the leaves now this other plant here is also a grapefruit but i don't know what variety it is and you can see it's got two fruits on it now looking at that tinge on that i mean i've got grapefruit question mark i think i must have bought it as a grapefruit but there was no, uh, probably no label on it giving a name. They just said it was a grapefruit. Now, whether or not I've got this, I don't know where this came from, Victoriana or another one. I think the other one definitely, um, what's the label? Is it a Victoriana nursery label? Yeah, this one definitely came from Victoriana nursery and it was, it was a star ruby. This one... Um, no varietal name on it and I can't remember where it came from but certainly the fruits look like grapefruits now looking at the pink tinge on them I'm kind of thinking that as we're going into winter even though that fruit there is very small I'm thinking I might as well cut these off and not bother leaving them on the plant because it's only going to stress it more in winter it doesn't look too unhealthy apart from the leaf miner damage um, I found this morning that something had tried to dig up the soil so the roots feeder roots have been exposed on the surface I'm going to throw a little bit of compost over the top of the roots just to uh, sort of cover the ones that are on the top and that in the pot as far as I know is a seed that originally popped up in it from a no doubt a citrus that had dropped at some stage I've no idea what it would be um, it does look from the leaves as if it might be from the grapefruit family, from the petioles, but there are quite a few citrus that do have petioles on them like that. So I'm probably going to cut these uh, fruits off in a minute and we'll probably cut them open at some stage in the next day or two just to see if there's any edible in the flesh in the centre in the centre of them. I suspect it will also be a pink or red grapefruit, um, but as I said, with that tinge of colour on the skin I can't see any reason not to pick it because they're not going to develop more uh, they're very firm so I don't think they're going to be sweet but I just can't see them developing over winter in my summer house um, there's it basically should be frost free and there's a little bit of artificial light in there but it's such a, an alien growing conditions for them that it's not conducive to these almost ripe fruits uh, albeit undersized to ripen so um, I'll probably cut them off and feature them in another video so those are two of my grapefruit I think I've got another one or two but I'll lose track of them now so um, that will probably feature another video so anyway thanks for watching the video much appreciate it please give me a thumbs up um, you're welcome to of course uh, share the video if you think it'll be of interest to anybody please subscribe to my channel and remember to click on the bell if you like updates on new videos when they come out and that will also include looking inside this grapefruit to see what colour the flesh is. See you in the next video. Brett out for now. Okay, so to continue the um, video, here are those two grapefruits that I took off. Um, clearly, they're not going to be 
ripe in terms of edibility but I don't think it was worth leaving them on the plants for the winter because I really want that plant to try and um, recuperate and stay healthy over winter rather than what I normally do which is leave all the fruits on to see what happens so um, I'm going to cut them open anyway to see what flesh colour if any there is and what I'm really interested to see is if these have got any flesh in them at all or really really thick uh, rind or pith which is what normally tends to happen with my small plant grow and grapefruits obviously once the plant gets big enough if it survives we will end up with a point where it's going to have a um, it should produce bigger fruits and they should have uh, a reasonable amount of flesh in so let's uh, let's cut let's flip the camera around and cut them open and see what they're like Okay, so I'm going to cut the, uh, I'll cut the smaller one first, just for interest. Oh, okay, that's much better than I was expecting. That's only got, last year when I had one, it had a really, really thick rind and no centre at all. Let's cut that into a quarter. No seeds in them. That's got a nice, nice pink colour on it. Let's give this a taste. Wow. Okay, it's not bad at all. It's quite nice. Not sour. Really juicy. What an amazing surprise. The fact that I can eat that out of hand, like an orange. I love grapefruit anyway, so don't get me wrong. I, um, I like that little acidic kick that grapefruit has. It's making my uh, lips tremble a bit, not tingle. With the acidity. That is an, an unmitigated success. That makes me even more interested. I'm going to cut the large one in half. I'm not going to try it. If it's anything like that, and got a pink tinge in it, I'm going to leave it till the morning and have it for my breakfast. So let's just see. Mm. Now this has got a slightly thicker rind on it. Let me just uh, just taste it. It's got a little bit of sourness to it, or a bit of acidity. It's not sweet, like a fully ripened fruit, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised. That's the best grapefruit that I've ever had in terms, it was only a half-sized fruit, but that is not bad at all. I'm gonna save that one um, and have it for breakfast, a little bit of sugar on, because that is, that is very, very edible. I do like to have a little bit of sugar on my grapefruit. Um, Unless they're very, very sweet, which of course some of the red and pink ones occasionally are. But nevertheless, that's um, that's a nice surprise. It's a nice colour inside, not particularly thick rinds, a good grapefruit flavour to it, and uh, very, very rewarding, to be honest, the fact I've managed to get that good. So I'll definitely save those for breakfast. And the rest of this one here, I'm going to actually eat that now. I haven't even sprinkled any sugar on it. You can eat them, as I said, like an orange. No seeds whatsoever, so it is a seedless variety. A surprisingly pleasant experience. Very satisfying. Anyway, thanks for watching video. Video, well, video. That must be the uh, as to the grapefruit tongue uh, twisting up my tongue now. <laughs> Please give me a thumbs up. Um, you can share the video if anybody's going to be interested. Do subscribe to my channel. And remember to click on that bell if you want updates on new videos as they come out. I'll catch up with you in the next video. Brett out for now.